Hello, Valley View Vikings. It is time for chapter two. We are in our book, Sideways Stories from Wayside Stool, School by Lewis Sacker. We just finished up with Mrs. Gorf, uh, our first chapter, where we learned about a super nice, no, mean, teacher that turned all of her students into what? Do you remember? You're right, apples. All right, so we are ready for chapter two, which is Mrs. Jewels. Mrs. Jewels. Take a look at this picture. What do you see? I'm looking and I see three monkeys. I see a teacher who's peeking in and she looks like she's holding her hands up, like maybe she's giggling or something. And then I also see some pictures hanging along the uh the the ceiling there maybe those are something that that kids drew or maybe it's something the monkeys drew what is the monkey sitting on what is that what is he sitting on yeah that's a desk you're right that is a desk so i think that this might be a picture of miss jewels but who are the monkeys i'm not sure let's read and find out i'll keep the picture up for you so you can see here we go all right, Mrs. Jules. Mrs. Jules had a terribly nice face. She stood at the bottom of Wayside School and looked up. She was supposed to teach the class on the 30th story. The children on the 30th story were scared. They had never told anybody what happened to Mrs. Gorf. They hadn't had a teacher for three days. They were afraid of what their new teacher would be like. They had heard she's a terribly nice teacher. They had never had a terribly nice teacher. They were terribly afraid of nice teachers. Mrs. Jules walked up the winding, creaking staircase to the 30th story. She was also afraid. She was afraid of the children. She had heard that they would be horribly cute children. She had never taught cute children. She was horribly afraid of cute children. She opened the door to the classroom. She was terribly nice. The children could just tell by looking at her. Look at the picture of Mrs. Jules. Do you think that she looks terribly nice too? Would you be afraid of somebody that looks terribly nice? Mrs. Jules looked at the children. They were horribly cute. In fact, they were much too cute to be children. I don't believe it, said Mrs. Jules. It's a room full of monkeys. The children looked at each other. They didn't see any monkeys. This is ridiculous, said Mrs. Jules. Just ridiculous. I walk all the way up 30 flights of stairs for nothing but a class of monkeys. Who do they think I am? I'm a teacher, not a zookeeper. The children looked at her. They didn't know what to say. Todd scratched his head. Oh, I'm sorry, said Mrs. Jules. Please don't get me wrong. I have nothing against monkeys. It's just that I was expecting children. I like monkeys. I really do. Why, I'm sure we can play all, si all kinds of monkey games. What are you talking about? Asked Todd. Mrs. Jules nearly fell off her chair. Well, what do you know? A talking monkey. Tomorrow, I'll bring you a banana. My name is Todd, he said. The children were flabbergasted. They all raised their hands. I'm sorry, said Mrs. Jules, but I don't have enough bananas for all of you. I didn't expect this. Next week, I'll bring in a whole bushel. I don't want a banana, said Calvin. I'm not a monkey. Would you like a peanut? Said, asked Mrs. Jules. I think I might have a big bag of peanuts in my purse. Wait a second. Ah, yes, here it is. Thanks, said Calvin. Calvin liked peanuts. Allison stood up. I am not a monkey, she said. I'm a girl. My name is Allison, and so is everybody else. Mrs. Jules was shocked. Do you mean to tell me that every monkey in here is named Allison? No, said Jenny. She means we're all children. My name is Jenny. 
No, said Mrs. Jules. You're much too cute to be children. Jason raised his hand. Yes, said Mrs. Jules. The chimpanzee and the red shirt. My name is Jason, said Jason, and I'm not a chimpanzee. Well, you're too small to be a gorilla, said Mrs. Jules. I'm a boy, said Jason. You're not a monkey, asked Mrs. Jules. No, said Jason. And the rest of the class, they're not monkeys either, asked Mrs. Jules. No, said Allison. That's what we've been trying to tell you. Are you sure, asked Mrs. Jules. We'd know if we were monkeys, wouldn't we? asked Calvin. I don't know, said Mrs. Jules. Do monkeys know that they are monkeys? I don't know, said Allison. I'm not a monkey. No, I suppose you're not, said Mrs. Jules. Okay, in that case, we have a lot to do. Reading, writing, subtraction, addition, spelling. Everybody take out a piece of paper. We will have a test now. Jason tapped Todd on the shoulder. He said, do you want to know something? I liked it better when she thought we were monkeys. I know, said Todd. I guess now it means she won't bring me a banana. There will be no talking in class, said Mrs. Jules. She wrote Todd's name up on the blackboard under the word discipline. So what do you think about Mrs. Jules so far? Do you think that she sounds a lot like what you thought she was going to be from her picture, or is she different? I think she looks pretty nice, but I don't know. Maybe Mrs. Jules seems a little bit confused. I don't know. What do you think? See you next time.